Hi, this is Kate from Isilicious Designs and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a little doll, a girl doll, without a loom. And we're going to be needing two crochet hooks. Um, if you don't have two crochet hooks, if you only have one, you're going to need something like a chopstick or a pencil or a toothpick, something, a fork even, to hold the extra bands on. Um, so I'm using my 4mm, which is a, a G, Clover Soft Touch, and then I have the 2.75 uh, in the same brand that I'm going to be using as my second. I'm going to be using Mini Pony Beads. These are 7mm by 4mm, and they are the Mini Pony Beads. The colours I'm going to be using are Skin Tone and Brown. I'm going to use red for her dress and I'm going to use black and white for her socks and shoes. We're going to be double banding and it is going to be a little bit tricky so I'm going to zoom my camera in so that you can see what I'm doing. Hopefully I'll stay within the uh, realms of my camera so you're, you're not missing out on anything. We're going to start by doing her shoes. So take two black bands and place them on your hook and wrap once and twice and we're going to slide those onto two black bands like that okay push that down reclaim the end of your bands and let's take another two black bands wrap once oopsie and twice now we're going to take these two loops and move them over the wrapped bands so if you can see here that's how it looks like that we're going to slide that onto a pair of white bands but we're going to do it in order so we do the first two loops okay and then we're going to do the wrapped band and then we do the last two loops reclaim the end of your white bands okay I think I've got this zoomed in just a little bit too much. There we go, let's try that. We're going to use another pair of white bands. Now we want to try and make everything um, completely even on both legs. Okay, So that's her shoe and these are her socks. We're going to use some skin tone bands. Again, in pairs. We'll do our first pair one two three and I'm going to use four and I appreciate that this little doll is going to be taller than um, the ones we normally do but I'm okay with that I, I don't mind that um, if she's a little bit bigger um, if you want her smaller just do less um, less bands here for her leg. Now we're going to make another one of these. You can either push this down on your hook and use this section here to make the next bit or if you're comfortable take that off and just lay it down while we do our next one. Two black bands wrap once and twice slide onto two black bands two black bands wrap once and twice and let's move these two loops up and over so that it's caught like that and slide onto two white bands. Now again, as I said, do it in sections, the first two loops, then we have the wrapped bands and the reason I say this is because otherwise it can get a bit tangled and you won't have the right pivot that you need. Reclaim the end of your white bands and you're going to use another pair of white bands. Now we want this to be exactly the same, so we've got one, two, three and four pair of skin tone. So here's number one. Number two. number three and number four and again we can take our hook out 
and we have our two little legs. Now what we need to do is the joint part in the middle of her body to connect all of these together. So I'm going to use four of the red bands, they're a rose colour. I'm going to take a single one, wrap it around my hook once and twice and then take those four bands and put them on the end of my hook and I'm going to slide that wrapped band over like that on all of them. Okay, Take my hook out and I'm going to splay these open. Like this. So that when you pull it apart you can see that there's a hole. So you've got two bands this side and two bands this side. It is important that you have that hole there, that you don't have the wrong ends of the bands matching up with the other side. What we need to do with these, place your hook through one set, what we need to do is slide them on to one part of this and then on the other side we're going to do her puffy dress. But for the minute we're just going to leave this, just squeeze down so it looks like a little cross, we're just going to leave that there. But that is a very pivotal part of what we're doing. We're going to take our little legs, put your hook through the skin tone and this is where we start with our first red for her skirt. Okay, One side is going to have this, the other side is going to have the puffy skirt side. So push this down or take it off your hook, whichever you prefer, and we will make a puffy little extension. So a single band, wrap once and twice, and you're going to slide onto a pair of red bands, a pair of red bands, and a pair of red bands. So you have an end cap here and three pair. You're going to take that off your hook and we need to go through the end cap. Let's take the little leg off our hook. That's the one we're working on. Push your hook through the end cap. Okay, just the end cap. We're going to slide that onto one side of the red bands, just like that. And then reclaim the end. So that is going to be our little puffy skirt. Now on this side we want the pivot, which is this, which connects the two sides of the legs together. Okay, So again, taking this off our hook, and be careful so that you don't pull it either side, we're going to put our hook through two bands, leave the other two for the other side, turn this around so you've got your puffy skirt that side and we've got this other side, but make sure you hold these, we don't want to lose them. Poke your hook through that side and we're going to move these pair here on like that and then reclaim here. Okay. Let's take a pair of bands, put them on the end of your hook and slide those two pair, those two loops over and that sort of then locks what we've just done here into place. Now that's our first link of red, this is our second link of red. Let's do one more pair to make our third link of red. Okay, now with our third link of red, and as you can see, I'm just going to put that on the hook here. This is our link to the other side, to the other leg. Okay, those two little bands here. These ones here, because they have the end cap on the end, are going to be our puffy skirt. And what we need to do is put those bands on here. We're going to take one side of this off here. We're going to turn it over, 
put the two bands for the puffy side of the skirt on your hook, hold the end and slide these on like that and then when you reclaim the end you can see that that looks much nicer like that. Let's do the same for the other side. So I'm going to put this down, I'm going to pick up my other little leg and using my other hook we're going to mimic exactly what we have just done. So we started off by putting a pair of red through here. Now we have to be careful this time because we want the sides to marry up. At this stage it doesn't matter which side we use to connect here because we haven't got a puffy side, a puffy skirt. So take your hook out and you're going to put your hook through these two bands. Now I've gone up through, you know, from the leg up. You're going to want to go from the top down this way. Okay. Grab your little leg. It doesn't matter which end you use slide those on and reclaim okay so that is how this is linked now we know that on this side we need to put the puffy skirt so move everything down take a single band wrap it once and twice take a pair and slide on and a pair and slide on and one last pair and slide on. Now if you remember we go through the end cap but we have to take this off our hook first. So place that down, put your hook through the ends of the band. Now I've gone through the, the wrong side you're not wanting to go through these loops, you want to go through the end cap. That was my mistake. Go through the end cap like that. Now, this is the side where it's connected, so I'm going to put that on my hook like so. And I'm going to hold this side, but that's just so it doesn't go it just doesn't go walk about. Okay. So I'm going to grab these two ends here and I'm going to slide my end cap on like that so it's hanging off. I'm going to reclaim the end of the band here. Now turn your girl around. We, that's our first link, our first pair of bands. Here's our second and another pair of red. This is our third. If you remember, what we have to do is put these bands here onto here. So I'm going to leave this side on my hook. Okay, I'm going to put my other hook through the puffy skirt and then through the bands that I want to slide them onto which is that third link. I'm going to move those two loops over like that and then reclaim the end of my bands. So if you look here, those are exactly the same. Okay, we've got the puffy skirt happening here. But you'll notice that we have, this is, this is our first column, this is our second column, but we have nothing in the middle. All right, and we need to. So if you turn her upside down, and splay her open like this. You can see we have this little band here that is a circle that these two loops go through. What we need to do is push our hook through this like that. Grab two red bands and we're going to pull, oops, let's try that a bit more careful. Pull your hook through and reclaim the bands, okay? so that you've got those on your second hook. Take another pair of red and slide on. 
and let's do one more pair of red and slide on. Take your hook out. Now I'm going to move these that are closest to the end of my hook off. I'm going to place my hook through the ends of these bands here and then I'm going to put this back on. So I have effectively got my little skirt all on my one hook here. Okay, now if you have a look here, we've got the first link here, second, and third. We've got the first link here, second, and third, and first link here, and second, and third. So we have three double bands all the way up. Now, what we need to do is start for the body of her dress. So, we're going to take two bands and slide the first two loops on and the second two loops and reclaim. Move that to your holding hook. Okay, we're going to do the same for the middle row, a column, two bands. Lift these over reclaim and move to your holding hook and we'll do the last column so we're basically growing her body but we don't have crossover bands yet move that to the holding hook like that turn it around don't worry that we don't have crossover bands, it's not going to matter, we do those after the fact. Let's do another pair. The first set, the first column, you add a pair and move to your holding hook. The second column. Move to your holding hook. And the third. And move to your holding hook. Now I want her to be, I want her waist, you know, the bodice to go up a little higher. We've got, if you count from where the uh, puffy skirt finishes, that's our first loop, our second loop and our third loop and we're going to want one, two, three, four, five, okay, so we're on three, so we need to do two more, two more pair, so let's move that one over, so that's one, I'm just going to do two on each at the same time, and two, First one, second one, first one, and second one, and put those all on the holding hook which will now become your working hook. So that is going to be her bodice, alright? Now we need to add some arms. I'm going to take skin tone bands, take a single, wrap once and twice and slide onto a pair of skin tone that's our first pair. We want five pair. Two. Three. Four. And five. I'm actually going to put pair of red here 
on the end like that and what I'm going to do is lift off this first set of loops here for the first column and slide this on like that okay so this is her arm now obviously I can't do the other arm because it's on the end of my hook so I need to move all of these loops onto my other hook okay so all of the hook, all of the loops are on here now and this is the side that I can work with put her down let's get a single band wrap once and twice a pair of skin tone another pair that's number two three four and five and then slide onto a pair of red hold that on your hook take your little figure and you're going to lift those first two loops off like that and slide the arm on and replace like that okay now we're going to take a pair of skin tone pop them on the end of your hook and we're going to slide all of these loops onto those two skin tone bands and reclaim the end like that this is the start of her neck so now with her neck like this on our hook we're going to take four skin tone bands and a single using the single place it through your hook and wrap once and twice and then take your four and slide that wrapped one onto it like so we're going to splay these out my camera had moved <laughs> splay these out so that we can find which two bands go with which two bands so for example not doing a very good job here am I <laughs> um, let's see I have a feeling that one goes with that one let's see yes I was right sometimes it can be a bit tricky so you want to find this little hole here in the middle what we're going to do is we need to slide one of these onto here all right so I'm going to put my hook through one end and slide on and reclaim okay however I want to make sure that that's not twisted that's good it's fine now I'm going to take a pair of skin tone and slide those on like that I'm going to take this off because I need to twist this round to do the other side okay so I need to hold on to this side here that I've just done I can put a hook through that actually it will probably make it a bit more secure let's put a hook through there like that so now we're going to do this side so take your two bands get the arm out of the way <laughs> and slide the neck on and reclaim and now we take another two skin tone and slide through like that as you can see we've got first column and second column but we haven't got our third column All right and you can also see that this band is actually quite twisted so I'm just going to move my hook around like that to untwist it what I'm going to do is put my hook down the center here and I need to pull through two skin tone bands okay like that and I'm going to 
basically how I want this is to be up like that okay so I'm going to put this on my hook one and two all right hope you can see that now we're going to put hair on her so I'm going to use some brown and we're going to put two bands onto the first column like that and reclaim but I want to put piggy tails on her as well so I'm going to take my other hook take a single brown up once and twice slide on two a pair. I'm going to do five pair of brown. There's my five pair. Take my little girl. I'm going to lift those two front loops off and slide these on like that and reclaim. Now, in order for me to do the other side, I need to get to here. So I need to move these bands off onto my other hook. So, one. Before I move these, I'm going to add. A pair of skin tone here because I just added the the, uh, the brown okay so I'm adding a pair of skin tone here and I'm going to reclaim and then move to the other hook and then I'm going to put a pair of brown here reclaim move to the other hook and now I can do my other pigtail so a single brown up once and twice and then five pair so one two three four And five. Let's take this side off and slide those on and reclaim. Now we're going to do a pair of brown, reclaim, and we'll put that on our hook our other hook I should say a pair of brown reclaim and move to our other hook and lastly one more pair of brown and move to our other hook we're now going to take two brown bands put on the end of our hook and slide all of these loops on like that try and make so they're not muddled up reclaim the end take one side over the other and we'll tie in a slip knot and this is our little girl's face. Now, to do her eyes, what we're going to do is grab your hook and we're going to just poke it in the side here and find a band that is not one of the outside bands but one from the inside and then take a skin tone band, a single, 
and slide it through that. Her hand is getting in my way. <laughs> and we're going to tie a slip knot in that. Don't, don't pull it really tight. Now pushing your hook through the first column here, grab that band and pull it through and we're going to slide an eye onto that. Now I don't care if you're not using beads, that's fine. You can use a band and wrap it four times around your hook, that works nicely. You can thread it using a hook or you can thread it um, using a metal threader, however you choose. Grab the other eye, slide on, and go through that last column here. Now, for this little girl, this is the side of the face that we want because this end cap here is there. On this side, it looks a bit messier, as you can see. So we're going to tie this off at this end. You can put it through her hair like so, and then just clip it to um, an S clip or a C clip. That works quite nicely. Clip the other end to a band like that, and that secures that. But this is the side that we want those eyes poking out of. Now the other thing that we want to do is put some ponytail ribbons in her hair. I'm going to take a single band, stretch it around her piggy tail like that. Okay, so it's like that. And all I'm going to do is tie a knot. I know you're laughing, I'm useless at tying knots. So there's one. I'm going to do it in a double knot so it looks like a bow and so it's not going to unravel on me. Oh, goodness gracious. There we go. Mm. So there's one. Let's do the other side. We'll be here all night. <laughs> okay. I use a hook to help me because I'm just so useless at doing. That's my first one. This is a comedy of errors, really, isn't it? There we go. Can I get it? I can! Yay! So there we go. There's her, her little ribbons in her hair. Now, we also need to do the crossover bands for her dress. So, for that, I'm going to use a couple of red bands. I'm going to dig my hook down here and find one of these bands that are hidden on the inside. I'm going to pull a single red band through and tie it in a slip knot like that. I'm going to do the same two more bands. And this is basically going to be my thread. Okay. So, I'm going to push my hook through here and pull this thread and let go of this thread. <laughs> oh, let's use a hook that has a hook. There we are. So pop that on the end and pull it through. And try and be try and go level. Try and be level when you're doing this. So I've gone sort of through column two and I don't want to I don't want to be on column three on this one. Poke it through. 
or row three, getting my columns and my rows muddled up. Pull it through. Pull it through. And I'm going to go, my last time is going to go through here. So you're harpooning her through the middle like that. Like that. Now, I want this to come up through her neck. So I'm going to poke my hook down the centre here of her neck. I'm going to pop my hook out sort of under her armpit, but not in the same spot that I came through for the um, other thing. There's my band here. I'm going to take it and pop it, splay it out, and pop her head through it like that. And that's how I'm going to secure my crossover bands. And there we have our little girl made without a loom. You can twist her little feet up. They've got the little angle joint there. So there she is. I hope you enjoy making her. Take care.